Have you ever thought or I've got told that watercolor painting is the most difficult medium or that it's so unforgiving and mistakes are so hard to fix? Sometimes I feel like these misconceptions seem to be like common sense to some people. And before you even get started with watercolor painting, these false beliefs can prevent you from experiencing the beauty and full potential of this medium. So let's debunk a few of those myths today so you can actually experience its beauty. Watercolor is the hardest medium to paint with. This is by far the most common sentence I hear or read whenever people talk about watercolor painting. And I believe it's not really true. If you think about it, if you say that something is hard, it only means that you find something difficult, right? And if you find something difficult, it's usually just because you're simply not familiar or comfortable with something yet. If you started your art journey with, for example, painting with oils or acrylics or drawing, watercolor painting can indeed feel difficult because you're not used to how watercolor behaves, right? You don't know what you need to do and when because it's so different from other mediums. But it doesn't mean that it's difficult, it's just different. I personally feel that watercolor painting is much easier than drawing with pencils or painting with acrylics or oil just because the majority of the time I've been painting with watercolors. So everything else seems more difficult to me. With drawing or painting with acrylics, it's all on you. Meaning if you put paint onto paper, it just sits there and waits for you to do something. Acrylic paint also tends to dry quickly if you don't use any special tools with that, so you have to hurry up. With watercolors, I personally feel like it's a collaboration. You also put paint onto paper, but then you can let go and let the paint do its magic. You don't have to control everything, 100%. So when you come from the background of painting with acrylics or oils, pencils or pastels, where you fully had control over everything, of course watercolor painting will feel hard. But that's just because you're not familiar with it yet. So you can actually learn how to paint with watercolors if you learn it the right way, have patience and do it step by step, and at some point it won't be much more difficult than anything else. Which brings me to the next point. You need to have full control over your watercolors. As I said earlier, if you have a background in painting with oils or acrylics or you're just starting out with painting and you picked watercolors, you might feel like you can't control your watercolors and you should be able to do that. And I know that when you're first starting out, it might feel really challenging because the paint moves uncontrollably, sometimes something works, something, sometimes something doesn't work. So of course you would feel like watercolor is so difficult and you can't really control it. But as I said in the beginning, watercolor is a unique medium that comes with its own set of rules and techniques of how you can use it. If you know how to navigate through these things, you can be fully in control. So for example, if you learn about what supplies to use, how much or how little paint or water you should use, the different drying stages of your paper, you can use this knowledge and decide on how you want to create your painting. It's basically like cooking. You also need to know what ingredients to use, what goes well with what, how fast or slow you need to do something, or how hot or cold something should be. And once you're familiar with that, you can go ahead and invent your own recipes, right? Just like with watercolor painting. But at the end of the day, watercolor is not a medium you want to control and manipulate completely, and that's the beauty of it. Painting with watercolor is a collaboration between you and the paint, and sometimes you just need to let go and let the watercolor do its thing. Because at the end, if you try to control something too much, most likely you won't enjoy the process as much and you will feel frustrated in the end. The next myth I constantly hear about is that you think you need to learn how to draw first. 
But the truth is, you don't really need to know how to draw first. You can absolutely learn how to paint with watercolors without being skilled at drawing or sketching. As I said earlier, watercolor painting has its own rules, techniques, and ways to use it. So it involves its own set of skills you have to learn. Even if you were an expert at drawing, you would still need to learn how to paint with watercolors. And watercolor painting is about colors and overlapping the paint, not so much about drawing lines. And ultimately, you get to decide what you'd like to paint. You can choose between different styles such as abstract or more loose depending on what you enjoy and like the most. In fact, you can create beautiful paintings by only focusing on simple shapes and different colors without touching your pencil even once. From there, you can of course always decide whether or not you want to paint more realistically and then build in some sketching into your art. But being able to draw is definitely not the very first thing you absolutely have to do. As so a watercolor beginner, you should start with the cheapest supplies until you get better. This is one of the things that makes beginners think it's all their fault that the pictures they're trying to recreate by following a tutorial just doesn't want to turn out the way they want it. Cheap watercolor supplies can be really tempting because you get a bunch of different colors brushes and paper and it might seem crazy to buy only 12 colors for the same price instead of 50. But really cheap materials are cheap for a reason and you do get what you pay for. Just because you are a beginner doesn't mean you have to go through the whole frustration of having brushes that shed hair and can hold any water. Or having paint that looks chalky, doesn't dissolve easily, and looks pale and muddy on top of paper that breaks and dries streaky after you painted on it for just two minutes. So if you start learning how to paint with watercolors with the mindset that you first need to get better before you can invest in better quality supplies, you might never reach this point because you might give up along the way. And once I started sharing these thoughts on Instagram or here on my YouTube channel, I got so many messages saying what a difference it makes to your experience when you just invest even a little bit more into your supplies. And the good news is that good supplies don't have to be super expensive as long as you know what to look for and where you can shop in a smart way. You need to be born with an innate talent to be able to learn how to paint with watercolors. This is another very common sentence I hear all the time. Someone might see one of my paintings and say how they wished they were as talented as I am. Or you saw someone else's painting and thought the same. How you wish you could but you just can't. As Darren Hardy said, the thought I can't is a lie. We use it to excuse ourselves from not trying. He says that thinking of talent as innate makes our world more manageable and more comfortable. It just takes away the burden of expectation and it relieves people of this stress and comparison. And it's easier to feel casually jealous of someone else's genetic luck while avoiding disappointment in ourselves. But the good news is that greatness doesn't come from DNA. Darren also says that there's no such thing as innate talent or genius. Sure, we have our own unique strengths, but we can all become geniuses and reach mastery in any area of our lives if we commit to a process of constant and never-ending improvement. You simply need to be obsessed with something and really commit to it and have this desire to get better and better and better. And everyone who you think is talented simply put in hours and hours of practice to develop that skill that allow them to create the masterpieces you see and admire. As Michael Jordan says, everyone has talent, but ability takes hard work. This means you are in control and you can do it as long as you're willing to put time and effort into whatever you want to achieve. And because I'm so passionate about helping you find joy and calm through watercolor painting, I wrote my very first book, No Fail Watercolor, to help you along your watercolor journey. You can find all the info about it and where you can purchase it by following the link in the description box down below. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.